Maiden Hamvention is underway. Thanks for coming and enjoy the event. Uh, this is the BAPI, Hamvention Talking. Information Radio, AM 1620. The Dayton Amateur Radio Association would like to welcome you to Dayton, home of Hamvention. We're located at the Green County Fairgrounds near Xenia, Ohio, east of Dayton. Keep your radio on 1620 for official Hamvention announcements, daily weather and traffic bulletins, and any changes in the Hamvention event schedule. will be available for rental from Scoot Around, which is adjacent to the ADA handicap parking. If you have not already reserved a scooter, a limited number of scooters will be available for rent on a first come, first served basis. my old Icom 5100 at the house with, but that would be the idea. I'd have a 300 and 500, one in each. You're going to have a lot of ease of operation in a true mobile environment with yeah. this one than you will the 300. 
Okay. okay. And this is designed from mobile operation straight from the get-go. Yep. Um, you remain in your sub concept instead of the AB. Okay. Yeah. So what's going to happen is, let me move this out of the way here. What's going to happen is, is that these two are always going to control the top. Okay. These two are always going to control the bottom. Okay. That's important in a mobile environment. Unlike the 300, where there's an A and a B side. You're working on the A side, it's the top two knobs. You hit it to go to the B side, you're working on two bottom knobs. Yes. I hated that in the 400. I like the 300, but I didn't like that on the 300. Yeah. This doesn't do that anymore. What you see here is what you're always operating here. Okay. 300 doesn't have the mic on this front here. Yep. 300 does not have the speaker. Yep. 300 does not also have the preamp. Oh, the okay. preamp too. Okay. So what this will do is when you push this SDX button, you're going to gain about an S unit or two for receive signal strength on there. Okay. Because that's what it's designed to do. In addition, there's a couple other mobile operation things. You throw in the microphone in, but if you plugged in the microphone, you actually have the push to talk button as the main key one will key up on the sub band for you right away. The knobs, feel the knobs. There's an actual tick to it. Okay. And if you feel around there, it's actually like kind of indented for sake of better terms so you can get a good grip. This also has the customizable favorite list. So in here you go in there, okay, I want to change Vox. I don't need to use Vox. Push and hold, go into menu system. And let's say I want to do, um, how about, pick something here, step. I'm going to change channel step. See it's there. Push and hold. Now it's here. Replace with Vox. Voila, now it's in your customized three, or, um, favorite list. So I want to adjust the step, boom, change right there, get back out. Oh, I want to adjust the step again. Go back in there and do that. Other thing about this is this is going to go ahead and be great sounding in any environment. You can turn off the rear speaker, six watt speaker in the front, three watt speaker in the rear. So let me go to... <coughs> Five. Let's see if they're still talking about five three five today. Okay, this is both speaker in the gauge. Ready? That's both speakers. Now let's go ahead and go this. I'm going to turn off the rear speaker. You're not going to need an external speaker, even if you don't want to mount a speaker back here, hide the center seat, wherever. Yeah, that's where mine is. Yes, so you're not going to have an issue with that in any way. Now, let me show you on this too. I'm going to bend this antenna. There we go. Now, I'm trying to get bad sound here. Let's unscrew this a little bit here. Okay, wait until it comes back again. It never fails. It always stops talking right when, when you're ready to. Right when I'm ready to show this. Well, let's bring this back on here. Turn the speaker back on top. Here. Come on, come on. Okay. What happens is we see nothing lit up there. The SDX is off. So once it starts talking again, what you end up going ahead and seeing is you'll see the signal strength come up. Probably right about there with that. When we hit the SDX, you're going to see it almost go full scale because of that pre-amplifier active on there. Of course. But, nicer thing, once again, too. A couple things you can't do with the 300. You want to go to your memory? Yeah, you know, I don't want to mess with there. Tap the VFO, now you're in memory. Okay. Tap the screen there, you're back there. I want to change modes. Digital. Complete digital. FM. AMS. You can do that on there. If you're in digital mode, you want to backtrack so you can see where the person talking in digital was, tap the screen. That goes ahead and comes up. Tap the screen to go back on there. You want to go to display, there's a band scope that's on there. If you want to actually go into the full display here, it's hard to do it upside down after a while. Oh, wait a minute.
I've seen dogs at Hamvention, but never a duck. <laughs> and good luck. That's a lot of iron. Oh, it'll do 40. Yeah, if, if, if the batteries were up. 